Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is JP and this is Jenna Unfiltered. And in today's video, I'll be doing a car tour. I got a car about two and a half weeks ago and I wanted to show you guys the inside and the out. But before we do so that you don't talk about me or my car or my raggedy nails, mind your business. <laughs> we're gonna take a trip to the car wash get my car all nice and clean and then we will start the t then we will start the car tour so if you are interested in seeing my car tour then please keep watching Okay guys, we have finished washing the car. 
and uh, I wanted to just show you the inside of my vehicle. I do have a 2021 Hyundai or Hyundai Sonata. Uh, the trim that I have is the SEL Plus. I'm here obviously in the driver's seat. So we'll start here at the door panel. So you just have the basic functions, lock, unlock, um, the controls to the four windows, and then this little lock here locks the windows. I have both speakers on both sides, the driver and passenger, as well as in the back by the rear mirror. Shout out to Crocs <laughs> down there at the bottom. This button controls my trunk. I'm not sure what this button is here, so I'm not gonna lie to you this uh button here my car when it's in drive and i put it in park um the the car automatically puts itself into uh, emergency brake mode so when it does that i just pull this little button out here and it releases the um the brake and then this button here is keep lane assist i have it off currently because i'm reckless and i like to live life on the edge just kidding i do have it off though because it's quite annoying the littlest swerve that you uh make it jerks your car back in the lane it's just too safe for sis so i turned it off I, i'm mm -mm, i can't so moving on to the steering wheel here again pretty basic controls um i have the uh min this button here sorry uh, where I can talk to my car, uh, can hang up phone calls and make phone calls. Here is the volume button, cruise control. This here is the manual for the um, dashboard. My dashboard is all digital and it's a 10.5 inch screen. I do believe it's 10.5 or 10 inches. My steering wheel is gray. I do have a steering wheel cover on it. I'll show you that guy, show you that in a minute, guys. Uh, but my steering wheel is gray without the cover and it has red stitching. It has like a sports um, kind of vibe on the um, steering wheel, which I really like. But going back to the dash, uh, again, pretty, pretty basic function. I have the temperature uh, down there where it says broken clouds. That's the weather. Um, I have my gas mileage there. It says that I'm in park at the top. And then a cool feature that my dash has is that it gives me different options to change my view. What I wanna see, I usually just keep it on the little car. I think that that looks cool. Also, another thing that I like, my car has a few different drive modes. So when I select a different drive mode, I kind of get this cool display change i'm not sure what custom is yet i usually drive my car on normal or smart and then here is my meet i don't, I don't even know what to call this honestly is it i mean that i know it's not like the dash because i just showed you the dash but it's like the little media area uh, where my radio is again this is touch screen a 10.5 inch touch screen my car does come standard with navigation and wi-fi uh, i have my radio here uh, my car came standard with the sirius xm for a few months uh, the car that i had prior to this one was a 2019 honda tucson i actually really like uh honda vehicles this is my fifth or sixth one um i had a sonata previously but i had the 2018 model you can change the station here I'm gonna turn it off, I don't wanna get copyright. Uh, here is the setup menu. So you have your own specific profile. You can change the display. You also have voice recognition. Uh, you can connect your device, Blue Link. Um, and I'll show you a little bit more Blue Link as uh, the tour goes on. Down here, we have my push to start and my little accessory that I got from Amazon, which is just like this black bedazzled push to start uh, ring. That was very easy to put on. Uh, I guess while we're here, we'll discuss my um, my steering wheel cover. I do have a bling 
black bling steering wheel cover also from Amazon. If you're interested in any of the car accessories that I have in my car, I will link them down below. Also, this um, this uh, car mount as well. Honestly, I'm not really a fan of it, so I may not link it or if I get a new one because as I am recording this video, it is Amazon Prime Day, so I might go ahead and take advantage of the sale and get a new one. If I do, I'll link the new one below or just don't link one at all because I'm definitely not a fan of the one that I currently have. So moving on, I have my air vents here, two air vents. Uh, pretty standard. I have two air vents on the passenger and the driver's side as well. I have dual climate control and I can control the temperature by pushing the button. I also have heated and cool seats on both the driver and the passenger side. I also have the front and rear defrost system. My uh, passenger has the ability to change their uh, own temperature setting it's not uh, set to the same sorry guys um and i think that's pretty it pretty much it oh there's another thing that i thought was pretty cool on this vehicle um it comes with sounds of nature so i shouldn't get copyrighted on this so i'll turn it up some so you get a forest The um, wood, the warm fireplace is actually my favorite. I drive with it all the time. Either that, or um, either that, or I listen to the sea. I find it very calming when I'm driving. Um, when I'm trying to be mellowed out, because Houston traffic is whack and it'll make you lose your mind every single time you drive. So moving on, down here I have a bedazzled. Um, USB charging port. I also have another USB charging port and this pad right here is a wireless keypad. Um, so it works only when you take your phone out of the charger. Um, it took me some time to figure that out. So if you ever get a car or are interested in a car with a wireless charging pad, you definitely have to take your phone out of the case in order for it to work. My car does not have a gear shift. It's all touch so um hey guys so i have my park my reverse neutral and drive here is in my cup holders i do have these cute little bling cup holders also from amazon i thought they were really cute i never um i never decorated my car prior to this one i've seen a couple videos just randomly pop up on my youtube um page my youtube feed and so i decided to go ahead and get some accessories and i'm enjoying them so far uh the drive mode is controlled by this button here so again i can hit this button and it changes the drive modes this auto hold here not quite sure what that is so i'm definitely not going to lie to you moving on to the passenger side here again the bose system as i was telling you about my car does have gray interior i have leather and cloth seating so it's leather on the outside cloth on the inside which i really like and it's trimmed with like this red piping and um stitching in the headrest that's also red that i really really like and moving on to the glove compartment uh, it's pretty junky um i have a mask in there gum lotion charges for my passenger um i also have my car insurance and my registration in there you can put a drink down in the cup holder there it'll fit and i also have like a little compartment for my passengers in the armrest area this um tissue holder here i like it but i think it would work better for a mask um they advertise on amazon that you can use it for a mask or for tissues and i think that it'd be best for tissues um i'm sorry for mask because the tissues they just get all torn up and i mean at that it's not really cute um 
basic mirror here the only down draw to the this blingy um tissue holder is that it kind of interferes with the mirror but you can still make it work if you really want to i have my light here and then up here i have my uh control for my uh sunroof so i'm gonna hit that I do have a panoramic sunroof so it goes all the way back which is really nice it gives not only myself a view but also my passengers uh these two things are my lights um one is like an automatic you can set it so when you open your car door your lights will automatically come on which i don't like that so i keep that off or if you want to just use the lights you can hit that and all of the lights will come on this is blue link uh for those of you who are not familiar blue link is like the roadside assistance that comes built into the hyundai uh vehicle fleet i really like it i was involved in an accident about two years ago and immediately upon impact on star kicked in someone came over the intercom system in my car uh called for ambulance called for police so i really really like that feature and i'm glad that it comes standard in the vehicle that i have up here are is yet another accessory from <laughs> amazon it's an eyeglass holder you just kind of flip it down like this and um you stick your glasses in there the only thing that this car is missing is an eyeglass holder um in my old car there was one right here so i could just press it it would flip down and i could stick my sunglasses in there but it's okay i do think that these are really really cute it came in a pack of two although i am only using one so going to the back seat area back seat is pretty standard it has nice room in the middle console there it is a cup holder you can pull it out i do have two extra cup holders i'm sorry uh coasters that i use in my front seat i have the two extra ones for the back whenever the back is being utilized also i have this cute little bag holder that attaches to the headrest of my passenger side i also have one on my driver's side as you can see i am using it now i really like it okay guys so here is my console just gonna whip that back so that way you guys can see i don't have much in here i have some charging cords for my guests a couple of air fresheners that i have not used and my car still has the new car smell so whenever um the smell of the new car wears off then i will put the air fresheners oh just in case you're wondering i love let me turn around i love the true north scent it kind of gives me like spearmint elliptical vibes um eucalyptus i'm sorry not elliptical <laughs> eucalyptus vibes uh but here i have my ray-bans case i have two pair um one of my cases i mean one of my uh glasses are here in the holder so that way you can get a glimpse of what that looks like and then i also have my two uh, additional coasters down here and i have my business cards i'm actually using the second eyeglass holder or sunglass holder um as a business card holder but it's doing a terrible job as you can see my business cards are like all over the place um and that's pretty much it hair clip my husband's black ox cord my charging cords and some napkins so yep that's pretty much all that i have and intend to keep in my um in my console okay guys we are here at my trunk sorry for the loud noise if you hear any i am in an empty parking lot but let me show you my truck. I open it by just pressing right above the H symbol. Excuse my groceries. I went and made groceries this morning. But as you can see, my I do have some cargo trays here that came standard with my car. Uh, so I keep little things like tissue boxes and things like that. Also put the items from my grocery hauls that I get that I don't want rolling all around there. This is a trunk tour slash mini grocery haul. Um, it's pretty spacious back there. And then I also have my sun visor. 
and I forgot to mention where is it I also have a Hyundai first aid kit I've gotten like seven cars from Hyundai so I have quite a few of these I just left it in the plastic I think my husband has uh, the last one that I had that was open in his car uh, but here is the trunk pretty pretty spacious I also have my cargo net here that I can stick things in that I don't want to um, that I don't want to kind of move around in the trunk while I'm driving so that's pretty nice as well and it clips close or you can keep it open so there's an example of both and guys I think that's it Okay guys, this concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed my car tour as well as the few accessories that I purchased from Amazon to spruce her up a bit. If you're interested in any of the accessories that you've seen in today's video, please be sure to check that description box down below. I'll have everything that I purchased in the description box please check the description box. <laughs> Just kidding. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel as well as turn on that post notification bell so you never miss another one of my uploads. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a couple comments down in the comment section as well as video suggestions on what you'd like to see from me next. With that being said, guys, my name is JP. This is Jenna Unfiltered and until next time, bye. <laughs> Y'all see what I did there? You see what I did there? She got skills a little. <laughs> Bye, guys. Whoop.